Cordoba, Spain. My name is Senor Chris, and I'm joined by my co-host... Senor Tiffy. <laughs> Hello, amigos. Hola. Today, we're going to be showing you around Cordoba. Walking around Cordoba really makes me feel like I'm in a bit of a movie set. Like I'm in ancient Egypt or maybe in the Disney Aladdin movies. And it kind of, it inspires me to sing. To sing about Prince Ali, Ali, Aba, Ali, Aba, Aba. <laughs> Na, 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 na. And completely out of theme with Aladdin is the Roman arch and bridge. This bridge, originally built a long, long time ago in the first century BC, is likely where the road to Rome led through. But of course now, it's not really the road to Rome, it is now the road to the tourist attractions from where the tour buses park. The number one attraction in Cordoba is the cathedral or the mosque. I say the cathedral or the mosque because it's actually one and the same. This very building in the year 600 was a church, in the year 735 was demolished to make way for a mosque, and then in the year 1200 was turned into a church again. Uh, even though it's now a church, it's actually the third largest mosque in all of the world and you can see the Muslim uh, red arches and the Catholic components that both come together to make this truly a sight to be seen. Inside it's a really bizarre juxtaposition of things. The mosque-like architecture with the white and red and then in the center of the building is the Catholic church complete with an organ, an altar, and everything that goes with Catholicism. Standing in front of the altar is the best place to experience that juxtaposition. On the right, the Islamic arches. In the middle, the altar. And on the left, the Islamic arches again. They have also left the holy place of the mosque, the imam, which you can see right here. And then just to the right of the imam are paintings from the Bible. While the main tourist attractions are the cathedral and the bridge, Cordoba has lots of quaint streets and plazas. So make it a point while you're here to just kind of go out and explore and soak up what this medieval city has to show. One of the coolest streets to walk on is the Calleja de las Flores, or the Alley of the Flowers. Walking down this very small alley is kind of neat because it is filled with flower pots hanging just above your head. And there's one spot at the end of the alley that everybody lines up to take pictures to get this photo with the person, the flowers, and the church tower on top. Every year the local government hosts a contest for the most decorated courtyard. And this is truly one decorated courtyard. Walking around Cordoba, you'll see plenty of these flower courtyards. Stop and admire them. But if you don't get enough in person, you can bring a picture of them home as a souvenir. And before we wrap up this video, I just want to share a little bit of travel logistics with you. If you're arriving into Cordoba by train, there are luggage lockers in the train station behind me. If those are full, there are also luggage lockers in the bus station right across the street. Most people's first destination will be the mosque. To get there, you will take bus number three, go five stops on it, and get off at the San Fernando exit. From there, it is a short 10 minute walk to the mosque through some very quaint streets in the town of Cordoba. So it's been a good day exploring Cordoba by seeing the side streets and the plazas. Uh, Topher and I have discovered a whole new world. So come and explore this part of the world yourself. Okay, Topher, say adios. Adios.